Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna become a real American student just for a day to show you how it all looks like, how the life of American student works. So if you're interested, continue watching this vlog. Back to San Francisco. Now my name is May Marina with Lingotrip checking in. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Your life is when you start living a life of a language student. You start on Saturday or Sunday. This is when you arrive at a destination and the number one task is to check in to your residence. I'm staying in a student hotel today. It's like student residence. Kaplan, the school where I'm studying, rents out several rooms for its students. And the cool thing is it's super central. And this is a really basic room, but this is the first time when I see a flat TV in a student residence. I've lived in many, I've, I lived in Dresden, I had to buy my own TV, I lived in London, uh, no TV, but wow, San Francisco. A small fridge, this is all really basic. This is for you to enjoy the city, this is for you to sleep and do your homework, but you have to stay outside, you have to communicate with people because that's the goal of your trip. So yeah, here you do your homework, you want to feel like San Francisco, <laughs> they have the heater, really old fashioned. Well, I have a little better view if you watch my Instagram stories. Yes, this is super basic, but this is exactly where we started when we came first to San Francisco. This place reminds me of Utah Inn. This is a small hotel here in San Francisco. We came there when we took interview at Y Combinator and we were looking for like budget options. So when you travel, the best places to stay on budget are student residences and taking a course and um, staying in the student residence help you save money. Let's look at the bathroom. Communism is already here in America. Whenever I go, I see the same things like this mirror. I took a group of uh, Russian kids to New York to study English. They had the same mirrors in the residences there. Bathrooms in America, this, this one is pretty clean by the way. Yeah, it looks like, looks like new. The baths are really low by the way. In Russia, the baths are like this. Here in America, it's more comfortable to have a lower bathroom. And there is another section in this room wardrobe safe box yes pretty cool the next thing that you should do when you travel from abroad to america i guess the minimum hours that you travel is like 12 because brazil is like 15 hours korea is like 12 hours russia is like 15 hours so the first thing i advise you to do is go to bed because your body is so exhausted this is what i'm gonna do now because i had to wake up 7 a.m and it's late already so gonna go to bed i will see you tomorrow and we're gonna go to a real english language class stay here okay time to wake up go to school uh, there's no breakfast at the residence so we're gonna go grab some coffee good morning America when you live in San Francisco you have to make sure you have a lot of warm clothes because it's so cold today my residence has a kitchen but I decided to pretend that I'm a real American and have my breakfast at a cafeteria. Let's go. One vanilla clove cafe latte. Can you do it with almond milk? And one latte with almond milk. Thank you. 
Perfect, thank you so much. I decided to treat myself to a fancy breakfast today. I'm having bagel, and bagel is traditional American food. They put a lot of stuff in it, minus with salmon. And I also have a cup of cup latte with almond milk. It will be a lot cheaper to cook at the residence in the kitchen, but because I'm doing this video, and you should totally treat yourself when you're here. When you finish school, do something like this. Have breakfast somewhere. It cost me $15. I know it's a lot, but that's San Francisco, and this is a very fancy place. All right, I'm very excited about my first day at school. I've got my notebook and I came a little early. This is my notebook, so it's a good idea to bring your own to write things down. And yeah, I'm gonna register for my classes. It's not just about sitting in the class, so after my classes I'm looking for an activity that I can do for free with a school and today they're cooking some Brazilian desserts and I'm yeah, really excited to try it. So basically all of the activities will be on the activity wall and you just choose whatever you want to do in the afternoon. Adjectives and adverbs. What is the difference? Adverbs go with action. And adjectives go, go with a noun or an object. Yeah. And where are you from? From Spain. Oh, from Spain. Yeah. Nice. Did you live here? Yeah, I live here, like 10 minutes away from here. Uh, I moved two years ago to run my company. It's like a booking platform for language courses. Uh, what is the name of your company? Lingua Trip. <laughs> Keep giving out. <laughs> So the adjective always describes the noun. In this case, it <coughs> describes the, the person. How do you make an adverb, usually? Careful changes to? Carefully. Carefully, Carefully exactly. Now, let's look at the position. Mm -hmm. Where is the adverb? Is it before the verb or after the verb? After. after. Okay, it is always after the verb. Peaceful, gentle, happy. Happy. Happier. Happy. Happily. So in English, we have many different kinds of adverbs. Find all of the adverbs which describe actions, please. Need any help? You okay? All right, that's funny. Yeah. Easy, cool, all the action adverbs, the frequency adverbs. Good. Okay. Good. Magic finger. <laughs> huh. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from England. England. Yeah. Okay, yeah. My accent. Your accent's different. I love your accent. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> part of a day at school is activities in the afternoon and everybody can participate and I encourage you guys to participate because this is the time where you meet people outside your class you meet people from other countries and you're not just like saying hi my name is Marina I'm from Russia you actually make things together and this is the best so today we're gonna make some Brazilian dessert and I'm excited to meet those guys let's go and see it My name is Marina. Uh, I'm here with you for a couple of days because I want to shoot a video for my um, followers so they could see how the student life looks like here in San Francisco. I came here from Russia two years ago. I run a company called LinguaTrip. We help students study abroad and I'm also a vlogger. I have more than a million subscribers on YouTube so you're gonna see yourself. The vlog is called Lingua Marina. And I'm really excited to participate today. Thank you so much for hosting me. Let's do it. <laughs> And then what should we do for the tapioca flour? Should we start the tapioca? Condensed on milk. Oh, I love it. This is a <laughs> Russian thing as well. This is Brazilian? Yeah, Brazilian. Power. Obrigadero. 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 Yeah. Obrigadero. 
Oh, I love tapioca. Yeah. So it's gonna be like pudding, right? Yeah, put inside. Nice. Oh, wait. How long did it take you to fly from Brazil? Oh, 50 hours. 15 hours? Yeah. Just like Russia. I think it takes us 15 yeah. hours as well. Just wanna make sure it tastes like Russian. To the fridge? Yeah. And this is big enough? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Brazilian food. Like mm -hmm. last week we made Chinese food and the cool. week before that we made like French food. So today they're making brigadeiro and then uh, And then we just all eat it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. And you're one of the teachers or? Uh, yeah, I work downstairs with Liam. We're at the front desk. Oh cool. And I lead the activities, so all the social stuff in San Francisco. Nice, I nice, nice. And I like how you learn the language, like you still explain them what's going on. Like yeah. this is a freezer, this is the fridge, yeah. <laughs> this is how you learn the language. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a map where students pin the city where they came from. But guess what? We should do we should we should all learn how to market from the Russians. There's the only guy who came from Russia from somewhere in Barnaul and he pinned his Instagram nickname. This is how you market yourself. This is how you build your personal brand. Where are you guys from? Japan. You're both from Japan? Yeah, yes. Cool. And how long are you here? I've been here for five months. How is your English? How's the progress? It's really hard. It's hard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hard for me. Yeah, and what is your goal? Why do you learn English? I didn't want to graduate from my university, so mm -hmm. I came here. What is it? Paso Kenya. Paso I think I think I'm learning Portuguese here. <laughs> Paso Kenya, right? It's really good. Saudi. Oh really? And where are you from? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Like? I like it. So good. You should try. It's really good. Mm-hmm. What is your goal with English? Yeah, I have to finish here and uh, go to college. In China? Uh, no, San Mateo. Oh, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. College of San Mateo next year, spring. So I have to get the one level here. Mm -hmm. It's really sad, but I think I will finish here as soon as possible. Yeah, you, oh, it's totally possible. You're really good. I have no goal. So no. Just studying English? Just, just studying English and go back to Japan and do something. Cool. Oh. You like it here? Yeah. I like yeah? It, yeah. I'm going to South Korea end of August. Oh. Do you know any cool vloggers that vlog about uh, studying English from Korea? You don't watch YouTube? No? Okay. I'm, I'm just asking around. And how long are you here for? I'm going to stay for two years in the US. Oh, wow. On a student visa, right? Yeah. Just like extending the course. What was your name? Gino. Gino. I'm Marina. <laughs> yeah. Nice to be you. Thank you so much. <laughs> More food. <laughs> yeah. Tapioca? Yeah, right. with condensed milk. Wow. I thought tapioca was like round. This is white. Mmm. You keep bringing really tasty things. I love it. It's like gum. Wow, very chewy. Sweet, chewy. <laughs> so good. So good. It's like chewing gum with condensed milk. Mm, not healthy, but really good. <laughs> okay, now is the time. We've tried two Brazilian desserts, and now we're gonna try the third one, the one that the girls have just prepared. It's out from the fridge. Uh, that's good. Wow. Mm. <laughs> chewing gum with caramel taste. One more. Eat a lot of sugar in Brazil. Thank you. Like everything the, is the, so sweet. The best uh, dessert in, in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. I want to try. But I want my own. Yeah. I want my own. But this, this is better. Did someone use this? Is it good? Mm. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Right, great. Cool. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much. Wait, yeah, yeah. that's how you have to bring a date. Follow me on Lingua Marina on YouTube. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, this video.
Unfortunately, this day is coming to an end. It was great to become a student for a day. And the coolest thing that you can do the same, you can come to a language school and immerse yourself into language and talk to people from so many different countries. I was really excited to connect with people from Brazil because I know I have a lot of you Brazilians watching and try your desserts. Oh my God, you can never have enough sugar and Brazilian desserts are the best. I enjoyed it so much. And you know, just becoming a student, at least for a day, is a completely life-changing experience. You're like, you're a completely different person during this day. Now I'm back to business, blogs, but I felt as a school child for this day. So thank you so much for following me, for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel and we're waiting for your inquiries. We're happy to help you become student again.